This video looks at the history of Palace Street in green and St Martin at Palace Plain in yellow. This photo looks at numbers 1 to 5 Palace Street, now part of the Maidhead Hotel. This is the 1938 equivalent when these were shops, number 3 being an antique shop. Looking in the opposite direction, this is a 1993 view after restoration had taken place and this picture shows numbers 1 and 3 in 1950. This is a wider view of the whole block, now part of the Maidhead Hotel and this is the 1938 equivalent. In 1900 those had all been butchers and bakers. I'm not sure where the nearest candlestick maker was. Looking towards Pig Lane, the current Maid's Head car park behind the wall was occupied by these buildings in 1937, the one on the left being another butcher or possibly a grocer and the one on the right being a tobacconist. This photo looks back at the Maid's Head car park in 2024 and this is that corner 70 years ago in 1954. This is the current view of number 17 with this being a 1987 equivalent. Note the mobile petrol station in the background. Looking from the other direction in 1936 we see double doors inserted into the building in the foreground. Centenary House has replaced the former petrol station. The far end of Centenary House would eventually replace the building seen here being demolished in 1968 and seen here from the opposite direction in 1936, the Horseshoes Pub, dating back to at least 1805 and closed in 1959. Now here's a mystery. This is labelled as being the same view in 1939, but I'm not sure because the building on the corner is completely different, whereas the current view is back to how it looked in 1936. If anyone can explain this mystery, please add it to the comments. A quick look on the other side of Palace Street shows the Cathedral Precinct Wall, a Grade 2 star listed building. This is the 2024 view of St Martin at Palace Plain, compared to how it looked back in 1968. This pub was renamed the Wigan Pen in 1985 when the Magistrates Courts were open nearby. Dating from the 16th century it had previously been known as the White Lion and is seen here in 1938. Number 7 is known as Cotman House because John Sell Cotman, a famous Norwich artist, lived here for several years. This is number 8 in 2024 and is seen here back in 1938. These are numbers 9 and 10, the historic photos this time dating to 1936. In 1951 some restoration work was done to number 10 and in 1970 when numbers 17 and 18 had been demolished a window was carefully dismantled and then re-erected in the gable end of number 10. It's seen here in 1975. Turn around and this is the current view. It had been Fraser's Joinery and previously the Baker's Arms pub until 1913. Go beside it and in the present day we see the Magistrates Courts. Step away and with the church wall on the left these are numbers 17 and 18 Palace Plain seen here in 1936 and demolished in 1962. Number 18 on the right had been the Beehive Pub until 1922. A quick reference to a map of 1884 shows World's End Lane at this point and Erpingham House. This is what Erpingham House looked like. It was the home of Sir Thomas Erpingham who fought at Agincourt. By the mid 19th century it had become gas works and now the site is occupied by the magistrates courts. This is the entrance to the courts complex as seen from where Palace Plain meets Bishopgate. This was the site of the Cupid and Bow pub until 1917, this picture dating from 1938. 
This is the former vicarage of St Martin at Palace Church and this is what it was like as a vicarage seen here in 1936. Finally this is St Martin at Palace Church. It was closed in 1971, used for storage, then the probation service and is now the home of the Norwich Historic Churches Trust. This photo dates from 1934.